to another Mercy Health matchup in the Skyline Chili Crosstown Showdown presented by Mercy Health Orthopedics and Sports Medicine and Meyer. I'm Richard Skinner. He's Tom Gamble. It's Edgewood and Harrison this week, a Southwestern Ohio Conference matchup. These two t- teams tied for the uh, championship in the league last year, both off the 1-0 starts. Let's start first with, with Edgewood coming off a 35-0 one on the road over Northwest last week. That makes them 2-2 two two overall, 1-0 and in the league. Uh, they still run that wing tee at 305 yards rushing yep. last week, but their defense yep. also chimed in, gave up only 200 yards in the victory. Yeah, well, this game last year was at Harrison. This year, now... And- and I be remind people, Coomler Field, Edgewood Middle School, not the high school. Great facility, but just want to make sure you go to the right place. 42-35, to 35, Edgewood won on the road last year at Harrison. So I would expect this one, based on Harrison's defense, which we'll get to momentarily, to be a little bit more of a lower scoring game. Yeah, the guy they got a key on running back, Lincoln Howell, had yep. 160 yards on 13 carries on the ground to lead that wing T offense for Edgewood last week. But this Harrison team off to a great start. 3-1, and one, the lone loss to undefeated East Central yeah. in overtime. Beat a good Anderson team in overtime and shut out a good Anderson team in the process. Well, here's a couple notes. They've given up 26 points in four games. And you mentioned those two. Anderson and Evan Dreyer, the Redskins coach, in 13 years of coaching, has never been shut out. And Anderson responded this past Friday in the showdown with a 50 plus point effort in a home win over kinks they're outstanding on defense and good enough on offense connor kennett their quarterback almost 2600 yards passing last year he leads the swak this year with almost 1200 he's already had in the last two years four 300 yard passing games two last year two this year has a trio of receivers and you get a pretty good passing game with a good defense, you got a pretty good football team. Yeah, I think this is a good Harrison team. They were fifth in this week in the Harbor ratings in Division Two, Region Eight, and a chance to maybe move up. They're right on that cusp of maybe hosting a home game. It's still early in the process. Right, sure. But, hey, if you can take care of business from here on out, you've got a chance to do it, and it starts on Friday with this Edgewood team. It does, and Harrison's made the postseason three straight years. Edgewood, two of the last three. So these are perennial playoff contenders in the SWAC and two teams that expect to compete every year for that league championship. All right, tell people where they can get all the information on the Skyline Chili Crosstown Showdown and more. Very simply, we've got two Skyline Chili Crosstown Showdown games this week. Just go to xtownshowdown.com or follow us on Twitter at xtownshowdown for all the latest information. And coming up next, it's another version of the Mercy Health Huddle, the source of health information for your student athlete. Hi again, everybody. We're here with Dr. John Zisco from Mercy Health Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. And, Doc, we want to talk concussions again today. And first off, let's explain exactly the definition of concussion. Well, a concussion, uh, Greg, is is really a complex pathophysiological state that uh, is usually induced uh, by a hit, uh, direct hit or blow to the head or neck that sets up a metabolic dysfunction within the brain tissues resulting in a whole constellation of symptoms. So a, a player has been maybe diagnosed by a trainer or a team doctor on the sideline during a game. What are from some of the first things that we'll see, maybe the, the management of that? Well, the management, I think the key is to be aware that a concussion may have occurred. You know, we as team doctors and trainers really are fairly in tune in watching the game, uh, looking at the severity of the hits, how an injury happens. Um, you know, and if, and if we're concerned uh, about a patient who may have, or an athlete who may have sustained a concussion, we typically uh, will, you know, seek them out very quickly. Uh, obviously, if there's any concern they need, it's, a, it's law that they need to be <laughs> removed from competition and, and kind of monitored serially over the sideline to make sure that their symptoms are not worsening. So that's the sideline now and, and going home and one thing we've talked about that was kind of maybe a surprise to me is the long-term care you like for them to sleep. I do, I do. I think the, you know, the, the, the recommendations years ago uh, and I think that still is happening today where they go to the emergency room, oh, you know, stay by their side, wake them up every half an hour. Uh, really, I encourage my patients to sleep. I mean, you can monitor them, but they don't necessarily need to be uh, woken up every 20 minutes. Um, you do, however, and this is part of the sideline management too, where we have to educate the parents of things to look for, sort of the red flags that we worry about, uh, which we, would be, you know, worsening, you know, uh, responsiveness, somnolence, inability to um, become arousing, very severe headache, very mm. severe neck pain. Uh, all those things are kind of red flags for us. And if those are occurring that evening or shortly thereafter the injury, we really do encourage them to go to the emergency room and get a get an evaluation. Well, it's such an important topic from the pro athletes all the way down to the elementary kids. Great information today, Dr. Right. Thank Thanks. you. When it hurts to move, what often hurts most is the fact that you can't. Because every rebound is calling your name. 
and every dance should be danced. It's in moments like these that we step in to help you step back off the sidelines because it takes two to tango in this life and you are meant to be the one. Mercy Health, healthcare for the universe of you. Find an orthopedic doctor at mercy.com slash ortho.